Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back with another recipe. And today, I'm going to be doing macaroni and cheese. Creamy macaroni and cheese. Here, I have one pound of macaroni. And I have one pound of sharp cheddar cheese. I also have some more uh, cheddar cheese that I'll be using, too. So, here I have a pot with some water boiling. Make sure your water is salted. And I'm gonna add this macaroni. Okay, so I had to open that bag all the way up. But what I was saying, make sure your water is salted. And I've added the noodles. I'm gonna let these cook for about eight minutes. And then I'll start on the cheese sauce. Just keep watching, guys. All right, so I have drained my macaroni. I let it uh, boil for about eight minutes. And now I'm getting ready to make the cheese sauce. So right here, I have one cup of butter. And I'm going to add one cup of flour to uh, the pot. I'm still using one hand, you guys. So here's my cup of flour. And I have this cut on low. I'm going to be making a roux. And I'm just going to stir it until uh, everything dissolves. And then I'm going to add the milk to it. So I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes. And I'll come back and uh, add my milk. So I had to get my big whisk. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you have this on low when you're uh, letting this cook. And now that this is mixed, I'm going to add maybe about uh, three cups of milk. I added a little more. I added four cups. And I'm just going to let that whisk in. And then I'm going to add some cheese to it. So I'm going to give that a few minutes. And I'll come back and add some cheese. So I took half of this cheese and I just added it to the pot. And you want to let it cook slow and uh, make sure your cheese melts. So I'm going to let this cook on low and I'll be back. So as you can see, the cheese is melting good. It's taking a little while because I had some big <laughs> chunks, but it is melting. And what I'm also getting ready to do is pour my macaroni into the pan. And I added some seasoned salt to this. I'm going to add some black pepper and uh, I'll be back. So here I am. I'm back with the uh, macaroni and cheese. And uh, I already have my cheese sauce ready. I'm just going to add the rest of this uh, cheese here. And I do have cheese for the top. So this was the other half that I had in the bowl. I'm just gonna stir this in. Kind of blend it in some. Make sure it's even in your, uh, your pan. And you can add as much cheese as you like, guys as much or as less as you like. So now I'm gonna get the cheese sauce and add it. So this is my cheese sauce. It was about to cook again. <laughs> Make sure I get it all out. And you just make sure you Blend this in really well. And this is your cheesy macaroni. Like I said, if you want to add more cheese, you can. I already have the oven on 425. I'm going to let this bake for about 30 minutes. And I'll be back. And I'm gonna put some cheese on top. So I'm gonna cover this and let this bake for about 
maybe about 25, 25 minutes. And it's, like I said, my oven is on 425. I'll be back. All right, guys, this is my macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to add some more uh, cheese on top. And I'll be back. So I added the cheese to the top and I let it all uh, stay in the oven for about 10 more minutes. It was still on 425. And this is the result of the creamy baked macaroni and cheese. I'm going to uh, dig in the one side of it and let you see how it look, guys. It's real cheesy, real creamy, real creamy. This is how it looks. It smells good too. Baked macaroni and cheese. And this is how it looks. And like I said, you can add as much or as less cheese as you like. And whenever you get time, guys, you can try this recipe for your holidays. I'll leave the uh, ingredients down in the description box. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. This is another holiday edition. And don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.